Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Bye, bye. I'm glad to hear you. Sorry. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? How was ah. Eh, okay. Very good. Right. Very well. Sorry. Right. Very well. Okay. Right. That's nice. Did you have any time to work in the platform today, Jose Angel? Yes. Uh, I finished uh, maybe 10. Oh, you did. Okay. Excellent. Thanks. Good evening, Ana Palma. Good evening, Ana. Okay, Daisy Marroquin. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are, How are you? you? I'm fine, and you? Fine, thank you. Great, how was your day? Good, thank you. Okay, that's nice. And tell me about the platform. How are you doing with that? I am studying today, last night. Okay, what section are you in? All the platform. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Can you repeat it? Toda la plataforma la voy a hacer ahora. Hoy voy a comenzar. Okay, you're going to start today. All right. So please just remember to work on it because by now we should be at least in section three. So that's okay. You, you have the weekend to work on that. Okay, okay. Good evening, Maria del Rosario. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, very tired in my very job. Tired. Yeah, I can imagine. Yes. So, okay. What did you do today? What, teacher? What did you do today? Um, I am <laughs> no very very in, in my job uh, almost um, at the incline. Okay. All right, and tell me about the platform. How's it going with that? And the platform this day I didn't because I started section four. Oh, okay. You're in section four already. So you're doing pretty well. Yes. Okay, perfect. Good evening, Fabricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, fine, teacher. Excellent. How was your day? It's a busy, uh, um, a bit tired. Oh, all right. Thank God it's Friday already. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the platform, Fabrizio. Have you been working? I'm working in, in, in the mode of the section two. You're in section two. Okay, just yes. remember that um, 
by this weekend, you should have completed all section three at, at least, okay? So please continue yes, working. Should. All right. Okay, good. thanks. Good evening, Melvin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> tired. But I live. Yeah, okay. And tell me about the platform, Melvin. Have you been working on it? I call cold. Mm -hmm. But I think in the weekend, I, I, I will work uh, the session two or three in exam. Okay. All right, that's good. Just remember to complete it this weekend, please. Okay, you, sir. All right. Good evening, Katherine. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? Mm, so so because so work hard. Oh, you have Friday. Okay, yes. you had to work very hard. All right, and tell me about the platform, Katherine. How are you doing with that? Um, this this weekend I will advance. Okay, what section are you in? Section three, the last point. Okay, so you're just missing the last one with the midterm test. Is that right? Yes. Okay. We're doing well. That's that's fine then. Just continue working. Good evening, Carolina. Hi, good evening. How are you? Um, I'm well. Thank you. Great. Great. How was your day? It was um Busy, okay. And tell me about the platform. What section are you in? Only letter B, middle term, is missing. Okay, you're just missing the midterm. That's fine. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, so I think we're ready to start with our class. So let's see what we, what we got for today. Let me get this. So we're going to start by practicing a tongue twister. Well, a couple of tongue twisters. Do you know what tongue twisters are? Any ideas? No, teacher. Trabalenguas. Trabalenguas, exactly. So we got some of those in English. Let's try to practice them. The first one is she sells seashells by the seashore. Oh, I had trouble pronouncing it. So let's say it again. She sells seashells by the seashore. Please repeat, everybody. She. She. She sells. 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 Seashells. Sells. 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 Okay. Listen and repeat first. Okay. So listen and repeat. She sells. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, now say it all. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, let me ask the people to pronounce it. Maria del Rosario, go ahead. She sells by the seashore. Very good. <laughs> Jose Angel, it's your turn. <laughs> she shall, she shall be the seashell. Hey. Um, let's see, Ana, Ana Palma. She shall, she shall by the seashell. Okay, very good. Melvin, it's your turn. Okay, she shall. Seashell by the seashore. Great. Doris, go ahead. She sells seashells by the seashore. Very good. 
Fabricio, it's your turn. She sells, she sells by the chisel. Okay, very good, Fabricio. Carlos, it's your turn. She sells fisher by the fisher. All right, very good. Daisy. She sells, she sells by the scissor. Okay, very good, Daisy. So please, everybody repeat. Seashells. She sells seashells. She sells seashells. She sells seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. Now let me add another one. We got 60 silly sisters simply singing. Repeat please. 60 silly. 60 silly. 60 silly sisters. Sisters. Simply singing. Simply singing. Okay. Now say it all. 60 silly sisters sing simply singing. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Okay, so let me ask Brenda Calderon to read it. All right, very good, Brenda. Just remember this one simply, simply. Okay. And let's see, Carolina, participate, please. Very good, Carolina. Katherine, go ahead. Sixty silly sisters simple singing. All right, thank you. Doris, go ahead. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. Dennis Castro, very good, Doris. Dennis Castro, it's your turn. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. Okay, Emma, go ahead. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. Excellent. Ruth. Sixty silly sisters simple sing singing. Okay. So everybody repeat please. Sixty silly sisters. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. Sixty silly sisters simple singing. Simply, 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 simply. Okay, say it again. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. Singing. Okay. And our last one is easier. That one is the big fat cat sat on the rat. Repeat please. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Sat on the rat. Big fat cat sat on the rat. Okay, let me hear Melvin. Melvin, go ahead and read it. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Very good. Maria del Rosario. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Okay, very good. Doris, go ahead. The big fat cat. Ay, I'm sorry. The big the big fat cat sat on the rat. Okay, very good, Doris. Carolina, participate, please. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Okay, Catherine Rodriguez. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Perfect. Ana Palma. The big fat cat sat on. <laughs> okay, very good. So everybody say it. The big fat cat sat on a rat. The big, the big fat, fat cat, cat, cat big sat, on on rat. Rat. sat on the rat. All right, excellent. Now let's remember about the expressions of quantity and how to use them. So here I have some examples. The first one is, I don't have enough time for practicing English. 
I don't have enough time for practicing English. No tengo suficiente tiempo para practicar inglés, right? Enough, suficiente. Then we got another example. Jose Angel, can you help me to read? It? There are too many people in the restaurant. Thank you. Too many. Demasiada. There are too many people in the restaurant. Hay demasiada gente en el restaurante. Then the next example, Ruth, can you help me to read it? Buses cause too much pollution. Buses cause too much pollution. Thank you. Los bus causan demasiada contaminación, right? So we got too many and too much. Too many is for count nouns and too much is used for count nouns. Count, count nouns, exactly. Next example, Brenda Calderon, help me please. There shall be fewer cars. Thank you. There should be fewer cars. Deberían haber menos carros, right? Next one, Daisy Marroquín. The purists should earn less money. Thank you. The purists should earn less money. Los diputados deberían ganar menos dinero. And again, we got fewer for count nouns and less for non count nouns. Okay, now we are going to practice um, using enough, too much, too many, fewer, and less or more by completing some sentences. We have to complete the sentences and in some of them, we can use more than one of those quantifiers. Or Okay, so we got here, there are police officers. How can we complete the sentence? Enough. Enough. There are enough police officers. Yes, good option. Do we have any no. other option? Too many. Too many. There are too many police officers. Very there are fewer police, police, police officers. officers. There are fewer police officers. Is another option. Yes. Okay, next one. There should be cars in the city. How do we complete it? There, there should, should be, be fewer, fewer cars, cars in the city. city. There should be fewer cars in the city. Fewer cars in the city. Very good. Next one. There is public transportation. How can we complete it? There is too many. There is too, mo too much. Too much. Yes, remember that there transportation is, is non count. No. Oh. There is too much public transportation. Exactly. There is too much public transportation. Or we could also say there is enough public transportation. Also, we could change it to the negative and we could say there isn't enough public enough. transportation, right? There isn't enough. Okay, here I have another one. The government, the government needs to build needs highways. To build. More highways? More highways, that's more right. Highways. More highways. The government needs to build more build highways. More highways. Okay. Then we have, there should be noise. Should be less noise. Less noise. Less noise, that is right. Next one, the city needs public parking garages. More. Too much. Too much. The city needs too much public parking garages. The city needs know. more public parking garage. More public parking garages and too much wouldn't fit into it because, because um, well, too much is kind of negative. Cuando decimos too much, se tendría una connotación un tanto negativa en el sentido que decimos que hay demasiado. Entonces, no nos daría mucha lógica decir the city needs too much public 
uh, parking garages, right? Like, yeah. In that case, we could no. say many mm -hmm. or many. enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Four. city needs many public parking garages. Necesita muchos, right? Muchos. Or enough. Necesita suficientes. That could be another option. Then we have there is air pollution in the city. There is too much, too much, too much air pollution in the city. Yes, there is too much pollution in the city. Next one says there are parts on the streets. Oh, I missed the word. There are cars. It should, it should say there are cars parked on the streets. So too many. how can we complete it? Too many cars? Yes, there are too, too many, many cars parked enough. on the streets. Or there are enough, enough, enough. parked on the streets. There are enough. Okay, very good. Now let's continue with this exercise. Now I want you to make sentences about the town or city you are living in by using these phrases. So for example, you say the town or city should provide more and then you complete it with a phrase like um, should provide more parking spaces or parking garages or should provide more um, job opportunities for instance. Just think about the things that um, should be in, improved in your city, okay? Or we have too many, we have too many cars, we have too many stores, we have too many bicycles. So that is what I need you to do. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes so you can complete all these sentences by talking about your own city. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, there you go. Just let me send this information to the chat. Okay, hi Carolina and Dennis. Hi, Carolina, can you hear me? And what's up? Okay. Entonces lo comparto para tener ejemplo. ¿Esa es? Sí, es. Empieza. Por ejemplo, la primera podría ser the town or the city should provide more 
बस tenemos que usar una oración por cada ejemplo sí, sí es que hacer como retomar los que ella ha puesto ahí entiendo yes that's what you have to do you have to complete the sentences by talking about your own city or town okay okay thank you all right So, Entonces sí se podría, por ejemplo, the city should provide more buses. Yes, that would be a good option. Or the city should provide more public transportation, for example. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, so... Um, hi Fabricio and Anna. Hi. hi teacher. Hi teacher. Well, let me check what you're doing. Let's see. Um, in number five, remember that fewer is used for count nouns and pollution isn't count. Um, so that one is okay when used with less. There should be less pollution in the city, you could say. But fewer is used with the count noun. So just change that. Let me see the other one. There isn't enough security. Security. No. Yes. Seguridad. Security. Seguro. Seguro. Yep. Yeah, you, so you say the place isn't secure enough. In this yeah. case, we have the difference between an adjective and a noun. Si lo utilizamos como secure, tendríamos que hacer la oración como there isn't. Oh, well, in that case, you do not say there. You use, for example, Santa Ana isn't secure enough. Enough. For example, oh. yeah, Santa Ana isn't secure enough. Or if you want to use it in with the structure I'm giving you, there isn't enough security in the city. Security, security. Okay. security, the number four, security, the number five, and the, car. the other one, there's too much noise, noise, again, we have noisy is the adjective and noise is the, the noun, right, so there you need the noun, noise. There's too much noise in the city. Or the city is too noisy. Noisy. Yep. Then you got in number two, we have too many cars on the streets. Okay. Next one, the town or city should provide more, should provide more garbage. Mm, in ese caso, ¿qué se refieren? Oh, okay. So maybe garbage bins. Garbage? Lo dejamos bins. Bins. Yes, that is B I N bins. Basureros, porque si dice solo garbage es basura. Sí, bins. B I con I. I N S. S. Esto iría unido, sí. Yes, garbage bins. Garbage bins. Yes. Sí, garbage bins. Yes, that's how we call it. Cars on the street, I am noisy in the city, security in the city. I know. More, more water, more security. Uh -huh. more. Uh -huh. 
more uh, more transporte transporte público more transportation public transportation public transportation okay uh, number two we have too many people okay Okay. There is too much uh, pollution. Okay. Uh, there isn't now um, police officer. Well, you cannot use that one with isn't you should say there aren't enough police officers because we're using the plural, plural. officers yep. okay there aren't enough police officers mm -hmm. there should be they were uh, people Excuse me. Fewer the, what? There should be fewer people. Fewer people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we don't have a. La voy a tener que ver las cuatro y me voy a poner tal vez así siento un poquito menos. Porque si me. Hello, do you have any questions? Do you need any help? Um, no, teacher. No, oh. yeah, yeah, we are, we are finished. Okay, you're done. Very good. So we're going to be back in just a couple of seconds. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, see you later. See you later. Only that, teacher. Hi, did you finish? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So we're getting back to the main room right now. Okay. El grupo principal. All right, so let me hear some of your sentences. The first one, the town or city should provide more? More what? Highway. Highways. Highways, okay, what else? Any other sentences you made? Let's see, Catherine, give me an example for number one. Catherine Rodriguez, do you have one? Maybe not. Okay, Fabricio, do you have one example using the town or city should provide more? The question. The first one. Provide more. Okay. Is the more garbage bins? Okay, very like good. City? Excellent. Okay, next one. We have too many. Jose Angel. Oh, we had too many cars. Too many cars. Okay. Good. We have too many. We have too many uh, restaurants. Too many restaurants. Okay. Very good. Next one, there's too much. Emma. Yes, teacher. There's too much. Give me an example with that one. Um, there's too much garbage. Garbage. The... Mm -hmm. Continue. Ay, olvidé la otra palabra. 
Oh, sorry. There's too much garbage in the park. In the park. Okay, very good. Brenda Calderon, there isn't enough. High school. There is enough high schools. Okay, thank you. Ana Palma, tell me another example using the same thing. There isn't enough. Ana Palma? Yes, teacher. Uh, there isn't enough security in the city. All right, perfect. Next one, Melvin. There should be fewer. Melvin. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, there should be fewer pollution in the street. Okay. In that case of pollution, we need to use less. There should be less pollution on the streets. Um, okay, uh, remember that we use fewer with count nouns and less with non count. Pollution is non count, therefore, we need less. Ah, okay, Thanks. okay. Thanks for the example, Melvin. Let me ask Carlos Herrera. Tell me an example using there should be fewer. There should be fewer cars. Fewer cars, okay. <laughs> Daisy Marroquin, can you give me another one? Using uh, there should be fewer. Uh, crowds, crowds, crowds. Okay, Six. all right, very good. Then we have we don't have enough. Let's see. Dennis Castro, tell me an example using we don't have enough. Okay, teacher, uh, we don't have now water. Very good, we don't have enough water. Doris, tell me another one, please. We don't have enough. Doris Aime. Okay, Carolina, can you tell me an, an example using we don't have enough? We don't have enough amusement parks. We don't have enough amusement parks. Very good. Emma Orozco, tell me another example using there should be less. There should be less cars. Less cars. Okay, very good. And we need more. Let's let me have an example from Jose Angel. We need more. Mm, we, we need more uh, water. More water, okay, very yeah. good. All right, now let's remember about the comparisons using as, as. Here I have some examples. The first one says, saving money is not as easy as spending it. Ahorrar dinero no es tan fácil como gastárselo. This copy isn't as bad as the other one. Esta copia no está tan mala como la otra. The tomato soup was as delicious as the mushroom soup. And please be careful with the, with the screen, guys. Okay. All right, so I was telling you about the example of the soup. The tomato soup was as delicious as the mushroom soup. La sopa de tomate estuvo tan deliciosa como la sopa de hongos, or la crema de hongos, we say in Spanish. Then we have giving gifts is as fun as getting them. Dar regalos es tan divertido como recibirlos. Those houses aren't as spacious as these ones. Esas casas no son tan espaciosas como estas. And now we're going to practice by looking at the prompts and making sentences using as, as. So here we have air and fresh. 
Can we make a sentence using as as? Podemos hacer una, una oración utilizando los comparativos as as. Let me give you an example. In the city, In the city, the air isn't as fresh as in the countryside. You see here we use air, then we use as fresh as. Okay, let me give you another one. Now make a sentence using houses in large. Any ideas? Any examples? In San Salvador. In San Salvador. The houses. Houses. Isn't large. Aren't. Aren't. Let's compare okay. using okay. us. Aren't okay. as large okay. as. as. El Chuapa. As in Chalchuapa, okay. Thank you. Thanks to you. Okay, so we got in San Salvador, has, houses aren't as large as in Chalchuapa. Okay, next one, roads and quiet. Make a sentence using as, as. Any ideas? Can In anybody? My neighborhood. Uh -huh. In my, my neighborhood. neighborhood. Okay. In my neighborhood, roads, roads, are, are, then we use the comparative as quiet as, as yet as. as. Okay. And then you could say something like, in my neighborhood, roads are as quiet <laughs> as in yours. In yours. In yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next one, nightlife and exciting. Any examples? In the downtown. Okay. In the downtown. Uh, nightlife are exciting. Nightlife is exciting. Okay, but let's use the comparative as us. Nightlife is as exciting as. Uh, I don't know, uh, as the beach, for example, beach. Okay. Oh, okay, as at the beach. Very good, thanks. Okay, so we're going to just leave it until there and let's continue with, with our next topic, which is expressing wishes. So let me just go to the platform. Here, we're going to watch the video and we're going to get the explanation of how we, how we express our wishes. Please pay attention. What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, 
we want to express personal wishes, we want to express family wishes, we want to express health wishes, we want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health? For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say, I wish I didn't live with my parents. Or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier. Or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I. Then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again or it could be another person, right? I wish I and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't and then whatever compliment, right? didn't live with my parents. There we go. Okay, so let me explain a little bit about expressing wishes. So as we saw in the video, we need the structure. First of all, we need a subject, then we use the word wish. Then we need another subject that could be the same as the first one, or it could be different too. Then we need the verb in the past and the complement. And we always use the verbs in the past. It doesn't matter if they refer to the present, we always express them in the past. For example, here, I wish I lived in New York. I wish I lived, lived. Another example, I wish we didn't have to work. I wish we didn't have to work. In this case, we use didn't have. So we have the past tense in the negative form. 
Then we got, I wish I could speak Japanese. I wish I could. And also another thing to keep in mind is that uh, we change the verb, for example, for can, for the verb can, we make the change to could. So we can say that could is the past of can. I wish I could speak Japanese. I wish I could fly, for example. Then we have, I wish you were here. And then we have, oh, also another important thing to point out is that for the, the wishes with the verb be, we always use where. Always use where regardless on the, on the subject. So here, for example, if you say, I wish my parents were here, or I wish I were in Canada. So you use where all the time. We do not change it to was. In el caso de los, eh, de los deseos que se expresan con el verb be, siempre vamos a utilizar la forma where. No importa eh, si, si estamos hablando de I, he, she, or it, que normalmente en el pasado con was y were se utilizan con was. Pero en el caso de los wishes, no. Se utilizan con where porque estamos hablando de una situación que no es real. Okay, another example we have is I wish people weren't so mean. There we have the negative form of the, of the verb be. Then we have, I wish my friends would stop bothering me. And that would would be the past of will. Will becomes would. Okay, now um, we are going to practice a little bit by making our wish list. Well, because of the time, we're only making one wish. So let me ask each of you for only one wish. So please take a couple of seconds and think about the things you wish. Choose one and make a sentence. I wish I were in New York. I wish I could fly. I wish I could buy a house. Just think about a wish that you have in your life. Teacher, tell me. I have a question. Um, okay. When I use I wish, we refer, uh, refer to the present or the future? Desearía que, lo que pasa es que como estamos hablando de una situación que no es real, entonces la expresamos como un deseo, ¿verdad? Desearía, um, for example, I wish you were here. Desearía que estuvieras acá. Uh -huh. Right? Or I wish I, let's see, I had a car. Desearía tener un carro. So it's something that refers to the present. Se refiere al presente, a un deseo que usted tiene en el presente, pero que en realidad no es cierto, ¿verdad? No es real. Entonces, mm -hmm. es por eso que utilizamos esa mezcla de, de tenses, de tiempos. Okay. Then. Okay. So, let me hear some of your wishes. Fabricio, what do you wish? I wish um, <laughs> What? I wish... Uh, Sí, estaba buscándolo porque... Oh. Eh, eh, permítame, creo. Pero... Ok, ok. I wish I like to win the lottery. Oh, I wish I won the lottery. Very good. Uh, yes. <laughs> ok, yeah, that's a wish for everybody, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jose Ángel, do you have one? <laughs> Uh, um, I I wish I wish um, studied in 
English. I wish I studied English. Last year. Okay. okay. Melvin, tell me another wish. Okay. Um, I wish I were in another country in, on this vacation. <laughs> Oh yeah, Vacation. me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for your example. Ana Palma, do you have another one? I wish to speak English very well. Okay, just remember to change the verb to spoke. I wish I spoke, spoke. English very spoke well. To the past. Okay. Yeah. Spoke very well. Thank you. All right. Very good. Dennis Castro, tell me another one, please. Hey teacher, um, I wish I could travel to Australia. I wish I could travel to Australia. Nice. Maria del Rosario, tell me another one, please. Sorry, check your microphone. Mrs. I wish I wish we could be friends. I wish we could be friends. Very good. Catherine Rodriguez, tell me another one. I wish to travel around the world. I wish I could travel around the world. Okay. Ruth Rodriguez, tell me another wish. Um, I wish I, I live in Italy. I wish I lived in Italy. Okay, nice. Daisy Marroquin, tell me another example, please. I wish I live in Miami, Florida forever. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> that will be perfect, right? Carlos Herrera, tell me about your wish. I wish I went to Barcelona. Okay, nice. Emma, tell me your wish. I wish I stayed in the beach. Okay, I wish I stayed at the beach or I wish I were, you could say too. Very good, Emma. Doris. Tell me one of your wishes. Okay, how about Marlon? Marlon Ernesto, tell me a wish. Okay, teacher, I wish I ate pupusas in Honduras. Okay, very good. Carolina, it's your turn. I wish I had more money. All right, nice. We all wish that. <laughs> Dennis Castro, tell me your example, please. Another one, teacher. Oh, you already participated. So sorry about that. Thank you. Okay, so now let me just take a couple of minutes to tell you about the. Oh, this is not the one. Let me just get the midterm test. Okay, let me just get the midterm test over here. So it starts with a listening section. It's loading, let's just wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, so the first part of the midterm test is a listening exercise. We have to listen to the conversations and check the correct answers. So as you see here, we got some sentences with some blanks. And here we have some different options to complete them. We just have to listen and select the correct option. Next part is use the past tense. And here you have, for example, this question that you have to complete using one of those options. And in the second part, you have to complete the conversation using the past tense and making sure to not use 
not use capital letters when necessary or well not to use or use capital letters when necessary so here again you have some blanks you just have to type the right answer our next part is a vocabulary exercise where you have to choose the correct option or select the correct option again here you have for example every summer sam used to go to the and you have beach paint soccer ball with his friends you just select your answer and then you submit it then we have a part to evaluate use two we have to complete the conversations use the correct form of use two in the verbs given make sure you use correct capitalization when needed and don't use it whenever it's not necessary Hay que tener cuidado acá con las mayúsculas, el uso de mayúsculas y minúsculas. Recordemos que en general utilizamos mayúscula para el inicio de una oración y para los nombres propios. Esos serían los puntos más relevantes. And then uh, we have some word order exercise. You have to put the words in the correct order to make sentences. Here you have some unscrambled sentences. You have to scramble them. And at last, we got some indirect questions. We have to write them. For example, here, well, select them in this case. You have, where is the nearest restaurant? And then you have three different options for making the indirect question. You select the correct one. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh no, we got at last a reading and comprehension exercise. You have to read the article and answer the questions related to it. So you read all this um, text and then you answer the questions, the comprehension questions. And it's important to tell you that you do not need to understand all of the words in there. It's only necessary to understand the information you're asked about. No importa si no entendemos palabra por palabra o entendemos todo lo que hay en el texto. Lo importante en este caso sería que obtengamos la información que acá se nos pide. And I think that's the last part. Let me check. Yep, that's all for the midterm test. Do we have any questions, any doubts? No. no. Have a good no weekend. No, not to see you on Monday. Good night. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Sure. Monday. Bye. -bye. Thank you, you very much. Take see care. you Monday. You see you next weekend. See you Monday. Yes. Good night. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye.